The emergence of doggy restaurants have really exploded in recent years. And these are restaurants that are specifically for dogs. They're popping up all over the country. And there is a reason for why they're popping up all over the country. We'll get to that in just a moment. But as the New York Times writes in their feature piece about this booming trend, Dog menus have become the new version of children's menus at some restaurants. Pet parents can now order their dog a steak or Alaskan salmon with steamed rice. The dog can wash that down with non-alcoholic beer made of pork broth or a bowl of dog parignon, you know. Dog parignon. Yeah, yeah. Made with wild caught salmon oil. Okay. Oh, come on, tax the rich. No, I don't even think this is a rich thing. Yeah, it's I don't a think rich it's, thing. It's not a rich thing. And trust me, look, when I was uh, dining on Hot Pockets for a decade, ain't nobody going to a dog restaurant. Okay, it's also <laughs> not a living in poverty thing either. Okay. This right. is a doing okay, solidly middle class thing, I think. Okay, all okay. Right. Let's, let's, we're, the debate's gonna begin in a second. Look at him, he's already getting heated. God. You know what? Bring up the Charlie B roll so he can see what he's speaking out against. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I would. Ne- oh, yeah. I melt. I give him yeah. wild Alaskan oil or whatever. The oh, I'll give him exactly. <laughs> Any, you want steak? I'll give you steak. Okay. You look at that side eye. He's so perfect. He's a little baby. Okay, you okay. do this every time. I know. Okay, okay. Okay. Sorry. All right. Let me continue. So, um, other restaurants cater uh, exclusively to dogs. Okay. So. Right now, we're talking about restaurants that also have dog menus, just like they also have kid menus. But there are some restaurants that only cater to dogs. From custom canine birthday cakes, which I know about because I buy Charlie fancy treats for his birthday every year, to food trucks serving chicken nuggets and burgers. Okay, so at one restaurant called Dog You, dogs eat a fine dining tasting menu. Is it like Wagyu, but it's Dog You? Sounds like it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so in San Francisco, Jason Villacampa, 40, has treated his corgis, Tony and Captain, to the tasting menu at Dog U four times. It costs $75 per no, dog no. with complimentary sparkling water or mimosas for the owner. Okay, so let's pause. I would not spend $75 on a dinner for my dog. Yes, you would. Shush. <laughs> Depends. Is it a special occasion? I'm not going to do it. It's a special occasion. I got news for you. Like, A, there are no special occasions for a dog because he doesn't understand that. B, he understands. Hold on, hold How on. dare you? B, a special occasion for Charlie is when you come home. Oh. Okay. So he, like. He does love it when I come home. Uh, yes. Okay. So for him, Every day is Tuesday or Saturday, right? So you're like, oh, Charlie, it's your birthday. He's like, uh, I don't know what this lady's saying, but I'm really glad she's home. Right? That's the only reaction he has. So look, there's a bunch of things I want to say about this. The first thing I just need everyone to acknowledge, and then we could, the rest of the debate could be fun, okay? Is that it is not for the dog, it is for the owners, okay? It's like it's the same as two year old birthday parties. No. The two year old no. doesn't know. No. <laughs> the dog knows, they know. I'll give you an example, I'll give you an example, okay? <laughs> I visit my parents every Sunday, okay? With very few exceptions, like if I'm sick or something. But almost every Sunday, I'm at my parents' house. So before we go, of course I take Charlie with me, but I'm mm-hmm. gonna leave Charlie behind. So, but I'll tell Charlie, hey buddy, you wanna go to grandma's? And he knows, and he's super excited, he gets excited. You wanna know why? We go to grandma's. Grandma gives him treats, he's super happy. Like they, they do know things, they no, understand, Anna. he understands, he's so smart. Okay, look, so you're actually making a fair point, but let me let me clarify. So when the, can a dog learn certain things like, hey, grandma's and grandma has good treats? Yes, we all know that, if you've, you've ever dealt with a dog, <laughs> so the non-dog owner. Jesus. Okay, look, I've taken care of a dog, which I if have ever many times. you've had the honor of okay. being a caretaker of a dog. Yes, fine, and, I, and I've done that for friends ton, tons of times, right? You all know, like we're always so surprised that non-humans have some degree of 
intelligence, consciousness, etc. Stop being surprised. Sometimes more intelligence. Yeah, well, depending on the human, really, rather than the dog. Yeah. But, um, but so yeah, of course they understand certain things. They know who their owner is. They know grandmas. And if you get them used to this restaurant, and the article talks about it, and they like what's in the restaurant, they're gonna bark when they come. They're like, ah, yeah, I like this one. I like this one. So I hear you. Of course they understand that, right? Mm -hmm. But do they understand it's their birthday? No, they do not. Do they understand that you're taking them to a fancy restaurant? No, they do not. All they understand is. Me like this food, like when Anna brings me to this place, whatever this place is called, me like it, right? When I'm watching a television show and something happens that I find distressing, and literally, I don't know why I do this. I guess this is how I express frustration or fear, or whatever. I'll sigh, like I'll be like, I'll just do that. Breathing exercise, God bless. It's not even a breathing exercise. It's just like <laughs> I take a deep breath to like either brace myself or deal with the emotions I'm feeling because of the content I'm watching. Charlie's in another room. He hears that sigh. He runs in to give me emotional support. No, I get They're it. You so love your dog. Smart. No, no, no. It's not. I'm not saying that because I love. I do love my dog. I am sharing that anecdote with you. Because they're smart and they understand. They might not communicate or understand communication the way another human would. Yeah. But they do communicate. No, I know they do. Like you know, when they walk into the restaurant, wow, 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 is it your anniversary? Oh, it's my birthday. <laughs> you no, know, right. they like good treats. <laughs> okay. But they're, don't get me wrong, guys. They're smart enough to for sure know the restaurant and for sure know grandmas. They're, you know, we're not the only ones that can, that have any kind of emotions or feelings or thoughts. It's just different our thoughts, obviously. There have been days where if I look at my diet that day and what I fed my dog, no question my dog ate better than I did. Well, that's a problem. You see, that's that's a But I'm gonna be all right. Okay, like what's the worst that can happen to me? All right, like I get a little hungry, or usually when I'm not eating well, it's because I'm eating like junk, right? But they Who like cares? their junk food. They, they like you give them chopped up horse or whatever they get <laughs> there's in dog don't food. Don't give him and, chopped up horse. Okay, I don't. I don't know what's in dog food. <laughs> okay, and he's up, like, oh, yummy. You lack the credibility to comment on this story. <laughs> <laughs> like the credible. You here's, think here's, I chop up horses and give it to my? Dog. I don't. I don't know if. Well, you'd be surprised at how many people did. Uh, they don't actually go do it, but the factories used to do it. Anyways, um, so here's a. I don't know if this will reduce or increase my credibility. So, I'm against dog treats. Uh, just, what? Uh, hold on, hold on. Not all dog treats. Ones designed like human food, because the dog doesn't know that a cookie's delicious. For humans, it just thinks it's delicious because it's delicious horse meat, right? And so, and then you have the cookies out there, and they look like they're for humans. There's, you'll see it in your mall, right? And I'm like, oh, those look delicious, and they're like, but they're oh, that's not for, for dogs. You. God forbid, no. God forbid, something is not for freaking humans for once. That's God right. forbid, oh, I the agree. human wants the pastry, but the pastry is not for you. So sit down, <laughs> okay? Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got to go to this video because we got to go to a because video. Um, one man did us all solid. He went to dog you, and so we're gonna see a little of uh, what what it's all about. Each one of these pastries is fifteen dollars. Why they got chandeliers here though? They said it takes about fifteen to ten minutes. They eat so quick. <laughs> it's time for fine dining, Olive. This menu is wild. We're gonna get the three course meal: a chicken chaga mushroom soup, a chicken skin waffle and charcoal flan, and the grass fed steak tartare. $75. Oh, you like the soup. I kind of want to taste it. <laughs> I love chicken. Oh, oh. One more olive, you ready? That's a beef tartare. Go ahead, olive, go ahead. Oh, no. It doesn't smell good? You turn out not to be that fancy after all, olive. I love my people! Oh, I don't know what that last part was all about, but. Wow, the dog didn't like that. I, I would not be happy if Charlie didn't eat something I spent $75 on, I'm not gonna lie. Well, good news for my non-existent dog, I ain't ever spending $75. So they're not gonna get a chance to reject the beef tartare. Mm -hmm. uh, so look guys, as I, I mean $29, $25. But okay, all that notwithstanding, if you like it and it makes you happy, 
have at it, Hoss. Exactly. Right? Exactly. We're, we're not weirdo right wingers who are like, oh, don't do that, don't do this, do that with your life. Do whatever the hell you want with your life. So if it makes you happy to take Charlie, then I'll come with you. I don't care. Let's have a, wait, do they have human yeah, food? Yeah, let's do that. That would be sweet, James. Should we do have a TYT outing at a, oh my God. and everybody brings their dogs and we pay $75 per dog? No. We gotta find no. the, okay. <laughs> Gotta find the closest pup restaurant and uh, take our furry little friends. By the way, listen, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Most of these owners know, like pet owners, know that they're doing this to spoil their dogs, and it's not really about their dog like needing anything or like understanding the situation. I mean, whatever. Yeah, like the dog's not going up to another limo. Going, hey, you have any gray poupon? <laughs> God, I love that old commercial. Uh, so let's go to one woman who's featured in the piece about her, uh, how she got her dog a $15 rose shaped pastry to celebrate um, the anniversary of his successful. I can't wait for this. His successful <laughs> application to college. No, what is it? His successful spinal surgery. Oh, okay. Which is sweet, but yeah, okay. Um, now she says of the extravagant purchase, fifteen dollars is not that extravagant for your dog. Like, let's all relax for a second. I don't okay. get fifteen dollar pastries. I don't either. I would never buy a fifteen dollar pastry for myself. Would I buy a fifteen dollar pastry for my dog? Absolutely, absolutely. This is why I don't have kids. If I had kids, guys, I would have one dress that I would wear on the show every day. Like, that's. I don't understand how parents like, because I get it. I get when you have kids, that love is more intense than the love I have for my dog, right? I get that. Mm -hmm. That is, that's big of you to admit. That's that I, might be a I first. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm scared of that level of love. Like I just am mm -hmm. because like. Anyway, I would save my dog before I save myself. Let's just put it that way. No, okay, no. I know it's insane. No. So when it comes to kids. Anyway, let's move on. Um, so uh, the woman who spent $15 on that pastry says, they're not going to love you more for giving them a fancy treat. It's more about the love we have for our dogs. That I completely yeah, agree with. I agree and with I too. noticed that her first name is Kat. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Kelly Lockett, a 32 year old from Bedford Stuyvesant, uh, Brooklyn has taken Benji, her mini schnauzer mix to several New York restaurants with dog menus, including Judy Z's in Greenwich Village. He gets so happy and he enjoys spending time with us and not spending time at home alone. It's, to me, that is the selling point, right? 100%, yeah. it's also the selling point for the dog. The dog cares more about that than it's his anniversary for the spinal cord surgery or whatever the hell they invented. Yeah, he doesn't invented. understand necessarily yeah. that they're celebrating the anniversary. The dog thinks, Oh my God, they're taking me with him, yeah. with them, oh, that's amazing. Oh My God, look at this great treat, yeah, right? And and by the way, to your point, Anna, mission accomplished. Yeah, That's what you wanted to do, you wanted to make your dog happy and you did. So you know what, am I not merciful? Have at it, Hoss. You'll allow America, it. you are free to go to dog restaurants, and look, I allow it. A lot of people got dogs during the pandemic and so now there's this whole market for these dog restaurants. And so if there's a market, Business minded people are gonna create the businesses and that's what we're seeing here. 100%. Okay, so in the last couple of days, we have had a dog owner named Cat. We had a pain doctor named Dr. Pain. <laughs> and we had someone who hacked into Nintendo who was named Bowser. <laughs> oh my God, really good callbacks and you're right about that. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It's been, it's been a ride. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.